rocking some Polaris uh, Snowcross today. I've heard some good things about this. I heard the racing is pretty tight. Um, and I kind of played through uh, two races, just kind of get a gauge on difficulty. And uh, yeah, some of the races are pretty damn tight. Um, uh, it's a pretty solid little racing game. I don't know shit about uh, riding snowmobiles, I'll tell you that much. Um, so, it's an interesting little game. I don't know. We'll see how it all pans out. There's Rumble Pack support. A little uh, track record uh, saves here, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, pretty neat. I don't know. Although I did just notice right there, there's some, there's uh, wrenches, you used certain wrenches, I don't know what that, in that column there, I don't know what the fuck that is, but, um, yeah, there's, you can do individual races, you get a couple different uh, size bikes, looks like it goes up to, Christ, they make 800cc fucking snowmobiles, that's, that's insane. Uh, so if you watched um, any of the videos from the Road Rash uh, series, you'd know then that um, that I ride motorcycles. Um, the bike I've got, or I ride, is a Yamaha FC6R. Um, so this this snowmobile right here is bigger, at least in engine size. You got to, I mean, uh, you got to have kind of a decent size engine, I'd think, to really plow through snow. It's like any any other kind of uh, motor vehicle. There's all sorts of different things you want to consider when picking engine size. The style of riding, the, the terrain you're mostly going to be on, you know, all that fun stuff. But uh, looks like there's, is that only, yeah, there's only two suits I can wear and then uh, yeah beginner advanced and then expert so three different difficulty settings um, I did notice b beginner is pretty good it's tight I, I I think I gotta get a little bit more acquainted with some of the tracks in order to really get uh, up to some higher difficulty because I, I tried advanced that's fucking tough um, but this is definitely a fun game uh, I want to check out play uh, with some friends it's pretty good uh, the handling is, it, it's, uh, I, I don't know the best way to describe it. I guess the handling on these things is um, in the game is a little loose, I guess. Um, they're not, it's not very tight, um, which I think is kind of a conscious decision for the developers. That I, there's not a responsive, it, as far as I've been told, there's only two people I know that drive snowmobiles. Uh, you don't get an instant uh, response from your steering wheel or your, um, you know, your handlebars, um, because just the nature of the vehicle, y you have, um, it's a sled. I mean, they've got, um, something like, uh, skis, you know, like, a something you'd see at, um, at a sporting goods store, like skis in the front that, um, yeah, there's a little bit of a camber, so you can cut, uh, when you turn the, uh, the skis tilt so you can cut into the snow, go left, go right, you know, so it's um, it's a little sloppy. Uh, it's not as precise as other types of vehicles. So, And there looks like there's a pretty decent selection of, uh, of tournaments, I guess, here. And uh, there's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, with two of them being special events. So we got six, and then uh, there's pro, semi-pro, and then sport with alternating day and night. So, um, I've seen some footage of the uh, night races. The lighting effects on it, it's uh, pretty fucking cool. I think it's pretty impressive for a uh, uh, for an N64 game. Uh, now, this I don't, I don't know if I can pick bikes that are, okay, I see the kind of differentiation here. So, looks like 
bigger the bike, the higher the top speed, better the acceleration. The handling is a little shittier. Smaller bikes, it's the exact opposite. More stability, more handling, slower acceleration. So, uh, hey, well, I drive a 600 motorcycle, so let's go with the 600. Uh, there's not much in the way of uh, suits, I guess. So, let's enter a name here. Damn it. Why can't I not, uh, all right, whatever. I guess I don't have to delete it? Oh, okay. Beatimus. All right, I guess that's it. Well, come on now. And uh, similar to like uh, Beetle Adventure Racing, um, you know, uh, that's the one that I think of when it comes to uh, little shortcuts and stuff. That this game definitely does that as well. There's there's some shortcuts you can uh, find to cut down on your time, which I'm gonna try. Yep, there we go. There's two little routes you can go there. And I don't know much, like I said, I've never been on a snowmobile. They kind of, they personally scare the shit out of me. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's something, I, I don't know, I, I've been snowboarding before. There was only one time I went snowboarding. I was not successful <laughs> at all. Um, that is tough. I know, I know people that are pretty good at it. Um, this scares the shit out of me. You start going, you can get going fast as hell if you don't know how to be uh, cutting, uh, you know, and slowing down. You, you can get going at some pretty dangerous speeds. Uh, and that, that, I don't know. Coming from a guy who does something as dangerous as rides motorcycles, this is, this sounds a little silly, but, um, I don't know. I feel like it's too easy to uh, fuck up, I guess. I don't know. See, and this is what I was saying. That in this game, the racing is pretty tight. I, I don't think... Oh, fuck, I should have taken that little shortcut there. See, I don't think the... Um, I don't think there's like a slingshot type of race style where if you get too far behind the other the other riders sort of slow down I don't think that's the case but um, yeah pretty tight racing I'm kind of surprised the beginners level uh, difficulty it kind of seems like you really need to keep uh, it pretty tight I, you can't really fuck up on uh, on this See, like, there's a nice little shortcut there. Shave some time off. Get a little bit further up. See, the other problem is that you got other riders here that are in the same boat. And here we go. Final lap. And default is set at three laps. I think you can do it a little bit longer. I don't know. I hadn't looked. So, I don't know. Let's see. You bitch. There is a little bit of, uh, you can get, con you know, you can contact, it. not contact, what the hell, you can get, uh, you can kind of physical and ram into the other riders, you know, as you saw a little earlier there, but uh, not as gnarly as Road Rash, where you can reach your hand out and touch a guy, you know, and fuck him up. I don't know what these wrenches are either. I, I, I haven't figured that out. I, oh my god, are you kidding me? Unreal, unreal. And on the last lap, that's that's god awful, man. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to probably try settling for second now. Yep. If I can... Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Come on. That guy's way out there. I don't think there's any way now. Oh! Okay, well, not bad for a... Uh... <laughs> for a first run, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, they showed the, uh, the the machines that they're on, too. Okay, the Xenoforce, the Polaris. Yeah, those, okay, so maybe I'll Xenoforce. I don't know. What do we got here? Oh, cool. It automatically saves the race times there. All right, well, let's just see what happens, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. I got two wrenches. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so... Second place, you get two wrenches? I don't know. You can use the wrenches? I'm not sure what the hell I can use the wrenches on. Maybe to improve the bike? Or the sled? I don't know. I don't know any of these tracks either. They don't let you do like a trial run with these things, so I have nothing, no idea about any of these tracks. So maybe I should use a a different size bike. I have no. I keep saying bike for the love of God. Um, no, uh, different size sled. I don't know. Oh my. Oh, Nelly. Oh. Okay, yeah. The in some of the hairpin turns, that that's tough. See, and these guys are just right. Uh, they could be women. I don't know. I didn't look at the names very closely, but uh, the, very tight race. You can see the group is uh, pretty tight together there. Did anybody see those stands to the right? There were like maybe five people there. <laughs> uh, come on, man. And I don't know if I can't tell if uh, if you you lean back if it helps with your speed at all. I have no idea. That's probably the worst way that I could take that. Man, you start uh, bumping against people. It, sometimes if it's just too crowded, you get three guys like that, like you just get pushed aside. See, like right there? Yeah, I just got thrown into fourth place because everybody's trying to occupy the same damn space. I don't know. It seems, uh, see, I don't know. It's tight enough racing. I could go from fourth to second in like less than, you know, 10 seconds there. So, I don't know. I, I can imagine the, the more difficult this stuff gets, the, yeah, the less of a chance I got, uh, if I can get first. I might have to practice with some, uh, some like time trials or something like that, because yeah, it uh, seems a little difficult. Come on, give me that side. God damn. Okay. Yeah, you want to see something really bad? I mean, there's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. A lot of good time-wasting material. Uh, some of the worst accidents I've seen, man, are, yeah, some snowmobiles. Because 
You know, after a certain point, that machine is just going to go wherever the fuck it wants to go. It, there's a lot of weight behind these things. You know, make no mistake. Come on, you bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Uh. An asshole. Yeah, all right. Cool, cool. Huh, that's strange. Oh, I got three wrenches. Oh, okay, I see. So, yeah, it looks like the last two people, third and fourth, get one wrench. Second gets two. First place gets three. Oh, cool, there we go. Well, let's see what's up. And there's only three races for a division. Uh, so, I guess we'll see what we can do here. I don't know. Okay. There you go. So, if you like a, a certain size bike, you can trick one out. I don't know. I'm, I'm having some success with just the things I've got. I'm, you know, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go for the run of the mill bike here. Or, holy shit. <clears throat> Sled? Go for the, the middle of the road. I shouldn't say run of the mill. And, you know, I'm just gonna level everything out. How about that? That That's, that's about the best you can do, I think. Yeah, so there's just, yeah. That works out pretty good. I like that. See, but they don't show the stats for the other riders, which I so I don't even know what like I'm up against, really. It just shows the sled that they're on, and that's about it. I can already tell this. The ooh, that was pretty fucking sweet. Oh my goodness! Wow, that was an interesting way to take all that. This was one of the courses <clears throat> that I tried before I started recording, but um, when I first tried this, oh, the sleds were not this fast. That, that little one notch right there made a big difference. It really did. I like this little area. It's pretty cool. And the oh shit, and the the snow effect going on here is pretty cool. It's a you know that that's one of the problems with the N64 is that it's been really uh, the library is really a good chunk of racing games, and believe me, not all of them are good. So I get it, but um, when you find a good one. Yeah, it's, it's totally worth having. This is, this is a pretty good game, I gotta admit. I don't know about the engine sounds. That's, um, that's getting me kind of old. Although, when you tap the brake there, um, it sounds like a mech warrior is, like, starting up. I don't know. This guy's like right on my tail. You can hear him behind me. I'm not sure if you can, if leaning forward, oh shit. If leaning forward can give you a little bit more control or or what, but um. Oh yeah, maybe it can give you a, a little bit of an advantage with turning because you're, you're forcing those skis down. So maybe. See, you can. I don't know, man. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty kick-ass game. 
Anyway, we'll, we'll see how it um, how it pans out. It with the difficulty. That's that can be. Yeah. Hopefully, it isn't too difficult. I don't know. Yeah, there's a um, a guy I work with. He has some. He's a like a cabin up in the uh, shit in the north woods of Wisconsin, which is you know a beautiful area. Not not just in the state, but just in the country. It's just gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he's got two sleds up there. They're seven hundreds too. They're uh, oh my gosh, are you kidding? Oh, wow, that sucks. I got third. I only got one point. Oh, my gosh. I just finished in second place because of that. So, that, see, see, you can see right there, those two racers ahead of me, they, um, yeah, they definitely had a, uh, an edge there because they took that little detour. Hmm. All right, well, that's the first one. I mean, but I only got... Um, yeah, only got second place. That sucks. Alright, well, maybe we stand a better chance, because, um, so this is already something I'm noticing. If, if It doesn't matter how much, if you play and you suck, you know, whatever bike, damn it. Strike three, John. That's it. No more of this messing up bike and sled shit. Um, no matter how long, uh, or how bad you suck at this game, you're going to keep getting these wrenches to upgrade your, your sled. So, you could finish fourth, you're still going to get some option to upgrade, depending on what you're bad at. Whether it's steering, uh, acceleration, top speed, or, you know, whatever. So, I'm just going to use the same sled. It's already put some work in on it, so... In that last race, it had, there was the, the last shortcut before the finish line. Go this way. Everybody wanted to go this way. So is it like a scenario where the if there is a shortcut, take it because it's definitely shorter? Or is it a situation where like it it may be a little longer, but it might be easier to traverse. I don't know. It seems like on this track, there's you're pretty much cutting time off. So like, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, it definitely did. It rounds those corners a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Oh my, come on, come on. The AI is pretty good, pretty challenging. I mean, they're not just going to give you first place, so that's... Well, I mean, look at that, they're right on my ass. Huh. Yeah, I can't, I don't even know where the hell I went snowboarding. I was no good at it, make no mistake. Oh my word. Yeah, make no mistake, I was, I was god awful at it. But, um, it was a cool experience. I got to go with a bunch of family. But, I mean, it's something I'd like to try again. I don't like the cold, to be honest with you. Part of the reason why I wanted to play this was because, uh, so in Illinois, it's not terribly cold. I think we still have a couple, maybe a few days uh, in the mix here that are going to be like 40, like a 40 degree day. But that's about it. Um, but... Yeah, it's starting to get god-awful cold around here, man, and started thinking, oh, now let's start playing some winter sports games. I don't know. Yeah, 
this is, uh, this is some, oh, see, that's a nice little spot to go. You can avoid all those, those bumps down there. The suspension on these things, you know, in real life, obviously, has got to be pretty insane. And the, the paddles on the, uh, that belt, I don't even know what to call it. What, what's, what is the equivalent of the motorcycle's rear wheel is gotta be insanely dense. That's gotta be some dense rubber on that. You know, I gotta admit, once you once you get a couple of races under your belt, the the handling does get a little bit more comfortable. I do like it. It's not sloppy. It's just uh, it's kind of just right. Okay, come on. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. I really want to finish first on this. Start things off right. Come on, come on. Get up! Ah, oh, man. That's tough. A tenth of a second. Alright. Maybe I should upgrade. I, I don't know. Here, let's just do one per category. And we'll just call it a day. Riders on your mark. Look at that drop off in this thing. It's crazy. <laughs> just bouncing all around. <laughs> oh, it's just so fucking funny. I've never watched any live racing of this stuff either, so um, I'm sure they're. I mean, they got a race. I'm sure they do. There's some crazy fucking people that race this shit. I'm sure of it. I don't know if they race with only four guys. I'm sure there's not much other room to do it safely if you have more than four. I don't know. I don't know like about it. I gotta pull first on this one here. And this is one where there's no corners. This is like a straight race. All right, stay on the left, stay on the left. I'm hearing I, I'm like so in the zone on this shit cuz Christ almighty it's see look at one two three there was there was one person per section of bleachers up there that's hysterical I wonder if that's just the uh, representative of the type of turnout they get for this shit I mean it's cold out I don't I don't have any interest in freezing my ass off watching something I'd rather be hot as hell Personally, there we go. We'll go this side first. There we go. Cut it close. There you go. Hmm. Jeez, these 
jumps are just throwing you everywhere. I wonder if landing on the, the back end is uh, a little better. Cushions you a little bit, I think? I don't know. Here we go. Is this the... Oh, come on, you bitch. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I gotta pull first here. Or I gotta hope that, um... You can view a replay? That's crazy! Oh my gosh, and there's like a cinematic like type of view. That's crazy. That's that's pretty nuts for an N64 game. That's like commonplace now. You see stuff like that happening. Um, in an N64 game, that's, that's nuts. Alright, let's see what's up here. Man. Pretty much got it. Nail it, right? I, well, yeah. Let's just hit all of them. Here we go. Fighters on your mark. Alright, this is every single opportunity right here to grab some time off on the lap. Got to hit the shortcuts. Whoa, man, oh man, what the fuck. This is getting seriously fast with every little upgrade. It, it kind of blows me away how much faster they make it for you. Man, and I'm like way out front now. Whoa, did you see green there? He just cut through some serious shit. Oh my lord. That was embarrassing. Oh, shit. Oh no. I was really hoping to hang on to a good lead. I hit that corner uh, perfect the last time. Oh man, I'm so far ahead though. I'm still... Oh, wait a minute. Where's this other guy at? Why am I... It showed second for a quick... Second there. That was weird. Huh. It's crazy that the... Uh, this is... The pack is starting to thin out a lot. Oh, there are the geysers. That was the name of the track, right? I don't know. Oh my gosh, don't tell me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Turd. And this is into the home stretch, isn't it? He took the shortcut. Okay, let's make sure that corner's nice and tight. And yeah. Oh, that wasn't that was just the second lap. Shit. <laughs> here I'm thinking. I've got it made, I've got it made, oh yeah. Seems like a lot of the riders. Oh my gosh, again! A lot of the riders uh, wreck right after the the finish line. That is a pretty crazy little section of that track. Go this way. See if that helps. I don't even know. 
Ah, uh, it won't. It won't help. It won't help at all. Fuck. section the left here oh my no 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 don't tell me that shit oh man I'm not gonna get first here I hope that was one of the guys that um that was in like third or fourth place because right here's the, oh shit I'm gonna get second place right here I hope I hope that guy got he was in third place in the standings yeah yeah uh, I think it was brick hill that was the first I think I got first place on this yeah, buddy. All right. Pulling through. Congratulations. All right, all right. That's kick ass. All right, so now it looks like it's, oh, different. Uh... Oh, that was sport class. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. So it's the same tracks, just at night. Hmm. I suppose that adds a little element of difficulty? I don't know. I mean, the tracks are the same. I'm gonna save these wrenches and just see what happens. Oh my. Oh, okay. It's not like terribly dark. Oh. does help if you kind of lean back a bit on your shit while you're flying through this because I don't know seems seems intuitive to me that you would want to lean back on the rear a bit to ease some of the bumps and stuff that you're going over I have no fucking clue but I'm gonna I'm gonna try for it <laughs> so that not only is being on a snowmobile to me just not terrifying, but it just seems really unsafe. I'm sure there's a safe way to do it, no doubt, but, um, doing it at night? I think it's even worse. <laughs> That's just, seems like a horrible idea to me. Ah, at least I didn't wreck on that. Top speed's getting close to like 60 miles an hour. Uh, someone's gonna have to let me know if that's <clears throat> even accurate. S near 60 miles an hour for a 500 or a 600 cc sled? I don't know. See, the lighting effect is really good. I mean, I, the developers were onto something here. It's really impressive.
Oh my! And on the last lap, I gotta really like catch up to these fools. Put Hog on the track. It's like a. It's gotta be like a. Not a disqualification, but what's the flag? Uh, is it a black flag? For, uh. Yeah, like a violation? You can't. You can't hog. You gotta let someone pass if they're trying to pass you. Oh, is this first place right now? Yeah, buddy, okay. Just keep it tight. I think I gotta just. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Shit. That's gonna be tough to come back from. Shit. It's the best thing I could think to do is just keep upgrading your stuff. This should be pretty straightforward. You're, you just stay on the track. There's no shortcuts, so... Oh, I was not paying attention at all. I was looking over at my computer to see how much time has passed on this recording. <laughs> Mistake. Fucking way. There we go, there we go. So whip out a wrench and fucking hit you, asshole. Ugh. <laughs> This fucking guy. Oh man, everybody wrecked for a split second there. ideal there's something about being outside in winter at night that is kind of unsettling it it has a lot to do with the fact that you just can't hear shit and that worries me I don't mind being um, you know Okay. Jeez Louise, John. I don't mind being outside at night, because you can hear everything pretty well. You know, provided it's not a windy day. Um, but at night in winter, everything is damp. Like, the sound is just dampened so much. The sound is, is absorbed by all that snow on the ground, if there is snow on the ground. But, uh, it, I don't know. As a kid, I always thought it was peaceful and really nice. I like to just hang around outside as a kid and build like a kick-ass, uh, well, best you could, build an igloo. I could never get like a full dome igloo built. I never was possible. But for me to do, we just didn't have dense enough snow to 
Because I think they just make it out of, like, ice, snow, ice? I don't even know. Alright, first place to hopefully bring us back up from that third place finish. Mm-hmm. Alright, so this is first place. Or nothing, man. Yeah, this is first place. I, I might be able to swing second if the other guy behind me in the standings gets third or fourth. But I have to go for it. On your mark. Come on. <laughs> really riding the line there, man. Holy shit. Yeah, so the nighttime definitely presents a bit of a challenge. Oh, fuck. Dude, the speed. Ha! Huh. The speed with. Whoa, damn, that guy's fucking up there. The speed with some of the larger bikes, I can imagine, is nuts. You start upgrading that. I don't know. I bet you on a straightaway, you can get those things up to like 80, 90 miles an hour or something like that. That'd be kick ass. I just want to put some... Uh, ah! I want to put some distance. Fuck. Alright. Holy shit. Can I... Oh my gosh. I have to restart the whole damn division. Motherfucker. Uh, I was hoping like maybe I could just cheat and just... Yeah, do like a one race retry type deal. Nah. That's not how that works. So, alright, I gotta avoid these geysers. I feel like that really cuts into my time a lot. Man, they just took that little area right there. That that helps a lot, I feel like, cutting down on your time. Oh, yeah, fuck. Final lap. I don't want to experiment on the final lap and the final race of the division, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> and start taking shortcuts. Fucking A! Sh taking shortcuts that I've never taken before. Motherfuck. I was, I was really starting to gain on them, too. There we go, there we go. So he would go up, uh, that way, huh? I can see why you avoid those geysers altogether. Okay, that's brutal as fuck. Asshole! Holy hell! Fucking A, dude. I just fucked this up. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I didn't want to fucking do that. Shit! Fucking piss. Ah. <sighs> this all up again.
Yeah. Imagine living in this community here and you got asshole like hooligans driving their snowmobiles around racing for wrenches that I don't know upgrade your their sleds I'd be a little upset man Ooh. I'll go up here. I don't know what this does, but Woo. okay, I'll take it. I'm gonna really try leaning back on uh, on the sled, try and cushion my landings, and then. Uh, really try to prevent a lot of bumps from hitting those front um, skis. Asshole, get out of the way. I think if you lean forward a little bit, you can get your turns a little bit tighter. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I did not know how to make a decision there. miles an hour on this shit. It's pretty hardcore. Come on. There we go. No way. No way. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. Okay. Tight turns. Got to keep those turns tight. Oh, 
There we go. I think that was the tightest I've taken that turn under that tunnel ever. That was nice. Nice little way to take those bumps. There we are. You know, I wish they would have implemented some sort of. The more I'm playing this, I wish they would have implemented some kind of leaning mechanic where you could lean to take the turn just a little bit tighter and just a little bit faster. Um, like they do in F-Zero, where you can kind of like shift, that's not like the best example, but you know what I mean, like, you can shift side to side, and, um, it helps you take corners a little bit tighter and maintain a lot more control. Um, that, that would have been cool, and really, this game utilizes the same damn controls. <laughs> there, shit, there's no difference, really. Uh, you, yeah. Ye fucking a-hole. Um, you're really using just the A button and the, and the joystick. That's it, so. <coughs> that, that would be pretty cool. Here we are, back in the front of the pack again. Get out of here. On the inside. There we go, there we go. Gotta not take that turn so fucking wide. Yeah! That's what's up. So what is that? Um, I think I'm guaranteed at least second place? I don't know. I gotta get at least second or first in this here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Riders, on your mark. And I don't even know how I feel about that. Uh, that last shortcut where they got that little narrow way for you to. I don't know. Maybe I'll try for it. Okay. And we're putting some distance between everybody, me and this guy in the yellow. So this is my only real competition, I think, unless I keep bailing. Okay. Let's see, this is the way he went. I might. Let's see. Shit. That wasn't the way to go, but whatever. I think the more that you maintain contact, I think they, they have slower acceleration for uh, when you're on the ice.
Ooh, this is a fucking way to go. I like that. That was really slick. You avoid all that and you stay on a flat surface pretty much the whole damn time. It's just a little dodgy trying to get in there. Um, a little dodgy trying to get into that little secret path. That's all. Ain't fucking up here. No, not on that turn. Alright, alright. Take the inside of this tree area. There we go. I'm fine with this. It's, it's this area right here. Yep, 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 yep. Stay on the left, stay on the left. That's that's a fucking huge time saver right there. That's that's money cuz then you avoid having to take that that left right there going over these little bridges and shit. I'm not even worried now. Hell yeah. That's how it's done. All right, with that, we should man, we blew this division out of the water. 2,000 model sled. There you go. Nine wrenches. Fucking kick ass. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So there we go. We've got the sport day class, or the sport class during the day. Those three races done. The sport class at night, same racetracks, those are done. We've unlocked the semi-pro uh, division, and we'll see what happens in pro class. I'm curious about these special events, and then I don't, I don't understand why that they would have one race image showing, like the track image, and then leave the other two hidden like that. That's, I don't understand that at all, but... Okay, and it's the same deal. It's just at night. That's all there is to this game. Um, yeah, so we've got... You can just do a single event. Okay, I wanted to see how many laps you could do. Four, five, actually... Oh, five. You can do a max of five. Snow or clear, day or night. So that's kind of cool. And then they only give you... What? Okay, so that's a classification. Snow cross is like a, an official track. And then cross country is sort of like an open area where you can find little paths, little shortcuts. Anyhow, um, yeah, that'll do it for uh, part one on Polaris Snowcross. Pretty interesting game. I kind of liked it. Um, I'm looking forward to a little bit more challenge in uh, the later divisions with a tournament mode here. Very cool. I like the upgrade mechanic. Definitely noticeable. I think the handling is definitely a lot better. The speed is definitely noticeable. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting down the line once you start using different sleds and start upgrading those the more we're participating in events so so it's very cool so at any rate thank you for watching guys i will catch you next time take care